ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to be here with Commissioner Gagan Twin today to share our plans to drive the European maritime economy forward through innovation. So we have a communication on maritime innovation. What is the purpose of this communication? So if we want uh, the oceans to be the drivers of uh, economic growth tomorrow, then we need uh, to get ready. And uh, this paper is about getting ready. For example, I can give you an example. Nobody can invest uh, uh, on a piece of land without a map of the surroundings and uh, without knowing what lies on it. So it's the same with sea. And for the moment, we don't know a lot about our seas and oceans. And uh, in order to explore them in a sustainable way, we have uh, to create the infrastructure to do so. So it's very difficult to have anything, any investment on the seas and oceans if we don't know what is really, really very important to know. Actually, we know less for the Mediterranean, the bottom of the Mediterranean, than we know about the surface of the moon. So I would like uh, to announce to you that this communication is about uh, working on three areas in particular. First, we are going to assemble marine data. Then we need clear cooperation between our member states and we need good skills for our people. About marine data first, uh, we have to work in order to bring all the marine data we already have in our at our disposal together. So our aim is to create a map of the European seabed by 2020. 2020 is the timeline. We need to have everything in place and have a very good map for all European waters. Mapping the seabed of our oceans will give both private companies and public authorities the information they need to cut the costs of surveys and to plan investments more effectively. And uh, we expect that if we are going to have uh, such a map, then we are going to have an overall economic benefit uh, at, uh, at least a billion, a billion a year. If we have the map, we can have economies up to a billion a year. Then about better cooperation is uh, we need uh, to connect maritime research institutes between our member states. Of course, Moira has a, a, a lot uh, to say and do about it, and uh, we have done a lot, but uh, we need uh, to uh, create more bridges between the different infrastructures in our member states in order to uh, have uh, uh, cut costs and also to um, have the best result of our science. And then we need, uh, for all of this, we need a first-class labor market. Uh, we need uh, very well-educated people and skilled people for underwater technology, for state-of-the-art wind turbines, for the use of algae and cosmetics, for example. We need trained engineers, biologists. So we extended the European Erasmus program to allow transnational partnerships among education, training, and youth institutions. So this is the action plan we have. Our intention, to make a long story short, is to remove any barrier preventing business from investing in the blue economy, including handicaps like unpracticability, knowledge gaps, lack of skills. And at the same time, and I would like to underline this before finishing, we need to be sure that um, we are going to protect the sea from any man-made harm. So I can say to you very, very openly that uh, we want any growth that is not 100% sustainable um, to go away. This uh, kind of projects will be completely irresponsible. You know that uh, we have been fighting in the Commission to go for uh, uh, sustainable fishery sector now after four years in European Union, and as you can imagine, we cannot permit now any new investment to destroy what we have done at last. So, today's actual plan is precisely about better coordination among the European institutions with a common set of data so we can monitor what we do 
And uh, we know that environmental implications uh, of our actions are there, and we are going to take care to protect the environment and the growth together. So I'm uh, uh, turning now over to Moira for the research aspect. Thanks.